Taking notes for thy thoughts to fun. Talk to you. <laughs> but we're getting there. That's what I'm doing. We're back, baby. I'm back. We're back. We're up. We're up to date. We were gone, but now we're back. He's gone. He's back. Aww. How long has it been? Uh, Friggin' well, four weeks. Four weeks. Four or five weeks. Yeah, but a lot's happened in four weeks. A lot yes. has happened. What has happened? Well, we officially launched. Launched, baby. Officially. Our, our faces are out there. Our stories. content is out in the public. Our stories are out there. You know, it's been pretty good so far. I can't complain. Most of my friends, most of them have listened to at least some of it. They've yeah. had a few laughs and stuff like that, and I can't complain. No, I'm happy with it. What about um, mum and dad? What have they said? Well, they, so they, they, they've, they've said nothing to me, so they seem happy with it from my end, but Ryan's the one that said the particularly in-depth uh, reveal story. So, so when I was at home, she was on the phone to a family friend. Mum was. And basically was like, oh, yeah, we listened to all their episodes on the way to Rainbow Beach while we're in the car, even the Thailand episode. I was like... Even the Thailand episode. Do you know what that means? I know exactly (laughs) what that means. So I sat there and she goes, yeah, it was, you know what, it was pretty bad, but we sat there for 20 minutes just not talking and we really just kind of sat there not knowing what to say after we found out the true story. But you know what happens? It's in the past. I was like, that's the best response I've ever heard from You know when parents say something like that? You know that's not just what it is. Do you know, know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. like that. We're not. It's like we're not angry. Yeah. We're disappointed. But you're like deep down inside, they're yeah. like, I want to abandon you as a child. Yeah, exactly right. Is this this is what we've raised? This is this what's become of our son? That sort of yeah. in depth. A sweaty white guy with no pants on. <laughs> hey, my race doesn't mean shit. Don't be you rude. You said that in the video. He's just quoting yeah, you. Okay. He's quoting He's right. you. And, and to be honest, I am a sweaty white guy with pants right now, but normally without pants. Quote it. Start quote. Mum and dad quote. always do things like they'll be like, "Oh, I listened to the episode last week," and then they'll be like, "Dead quiet." And you're like, "You swear too much." Man. Had, had, so, so what did you think? Oh yeah, you know it's pretty good. I'm like, "What do you really think?" <laughs> oh yeah, you know it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, think they know what to yeah, take. Well, what so to say far, my it. friends haven't. I've, I've, I've even told them. I was like, if you got actually any honest things to say about it, let us have it. And now they're just like, you yeah, know, it's funny, just kind of what we would expect from you three getting together. Well, actually, just I want to mention that everyone. That, well, I had you know someone from high school actually messaged me and say mm. he was walking down the street and was listening to it, and he just laughed his head off like an idiot. And then even another mate, um, she was listening to it on a train. And she just let it out a massive belt of a laugh when we're doing the Would You Rather's. We've had a, we've had a, a few reach out. What about that that girl from Perth? She reached out to oh, us. Yes. Remember? Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. The one that. Oh, is it a different one from Perth, or is that the same one with the drink? How many have we? No, no, that's not. For, she's not from Perth. Oh, okay. So what was the Perth one? The Perth one was um, someone that reached out and just said that they're really cool. What we're doing. They like a content, mm. and um, yeah, it's good to see. Awesome. Good to see stuff like that. So what was the other feedback we had about this drink? Okay, so we, it's my turn in this return to pick the drink. And in one of the free shirt competition ads that we've got going on online, one of the girls messaged and also put in a drink recommendation. Uh, We've got to give a shout out to Vicky from Melbourne. Hope you're doing well, staying safe. Yeah, cheers, Vicky. Um, She said you put like a shot of coffee in it. Can Um, I read out the actual conversation? Sure, why not? Okay, so... She says, yep, yeah, I want a T-shirt. I said, sure, no worries. You'll be notified on first stock. Without any hesitation, she goes straight into this drink and goes, I have a divine drink, may I say, very well tested. Take a shaker, a shot of coffee, add ice, and a glut of cream. What is a glut? Glut. And a double is that glut. A, is that a shot? That's a glut. Or? That's a glut. A, and, and, no, 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 this is not the best part, and a double glut of vodka. Glug, glug, double glug. Glug, glug, yeah, you know what I mean? And shake and pour into a beautiful glass bracket. The glass is so beautiful when enjoying a drink. Make sure we got beautiful glasses. I love that. Love the pour, energy, Vicky. Pour and now we get a nutmeg pod and shave the beauty onto the oral delight. Comma, comma, yum, comma. I just want to applaud that. That's like... 
That is expert delivery and yeah, advertising. That, that oral delight. I'm just like, so just, we all even, love some oral so delight. So we'll, we'll support the people who want to get involved in message. So we've we've tried to make the drink that she said best we can. I'm sure you could make it better, but this is what we could do. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I'm sh- again, for my batch, I'm sure she could make it better than I did. I feel like Vicky would make it so much better than you, She Scott. definitely would. She definitely would. Definitely. Because, Can if, I just tell There's a range of things that, that would I would classify as an oral delight. That would not be one. I and am. I'm not putting it down to Vicky either. I'm not an oral delight, no. Sorry? What? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say it straight. <gasps> we may have used milk instead of cream. And we need Vicky to bake it for us. Yeah. yeah, we need her to send us a tutorial video live, please, with yeah. a beautiful glass that she's referring to, I feel like to Scott- make sure this is as beautiful as her glass, because yeah, so, that matters for the oral so delight. Scott's version of Scott's the, Vicky, added a- the Vicky coffee espresso. What do we give it? Scott's version. Well, seeing that you added another ingredient there, which by the taste of it, shit. Another ingredient. <laughs> Just if it was cream or milk. So now it's just kind of a very strong vodka coffee. <coughs> What'd you give it? Two. <laughs> it's going to wake you up and give you a buzz. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take a sip and then back. Yeah. I, I, this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gone. No, I'm I get, going like one and a half. I get, I'm I've, not even calling this Vicky's drink. I'm calling this Scott's. Scott's attempt. Yes, I give Vicky's description of her I, recommended drink a five. Yes. But I give my actual making Attempt at making Yeah, that's it. what I'm rating it. I'm giving her a fucking six. Yeah, she's a legend. Sounds great. Yeah. Legend of the game. <laughs> we'll have to, um, we'll have to, uh... The vodka went up the top of my my mouth and went up my nose. Mm. <sighs> we'll have to get her a, uh... A shirt or something. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, of course. We'll, we'll have to actually, maybe, maybe we'll have to brand this as you, drink. As you, it was just such a delightful message. I thought we just might as well do it on the first one back. So, yeah. Well, good. on the topic, before we go any further, of messages. Hang on. Didn't we play a game before? We did. Oh, shit. We left it in the other room. Oh, no. Oh, anyway, well Scott's done, left, Scott. Scott's left his cog behind. <laughs> well, it was too easy. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, is that what happens when you leave your cock behind or cog behind? Both. <laughs> <laughs> what, it becomes too easy? Uh, the cog, the king of games this week was a very lazy throw-in effort of FIFA, which I'm probably the more experienced it's a playing. a dick and a half. I'm sorry, know. just like, come up with something. You know what I... Oh, I'm sorry, I said <laughs> FIFA. Do you know what my... Do you want to know, like, do you want to save my idea for the next cog or do you want me to just say it? No, save it. no okay. save it, save it. Save All right, it. I'll save it. I've got a funny idea. It's going to be a bit of effort to do it, but hopefully I can work it out. This will be Scott's like, oh, we're going to do an amazing race to fucking New South Wales and back. But no. while hula hooping. Yes. No. Okay, but yeah, so, yeah, I won FIFA. I beat them both. They didn't even bother with the third game against themselves because I already won two games. So because I'm you, the play, you play 80 hours a week of FIFA. So what is the score, actually? I've got two now. You've got two. You've got... Two. You got one. I've got three. Oh, you dickhead. Let's see. No, I've so got you, two. You got NBA, uh, Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers, and that wrestling game. And the wrestling game. You've got Mario, Mario Kart, Kart and uh, the one, the Connect one we did as a lazy effort on episode on recording six back in the day, which hasn't been released yet. Oh, train wreck episode. Yeah. And then I've got spoilers. FIFA and the <laughs> Connect. Spoilers. Olympics. I can say the title. <laughs> Well, we're going to have some hype for that, so let's just... Well, the train wreck is something to witness, so yeah. when yeah. that comes out, be ready. If yeah. anyone's got any ideas of what we should play or do before a recording, shout us out to... We would like to hear what one person any, might want us to do. <laughs> any, Can you bring up our number one fan? So... Oh, I remember this guy. I'm going to bring up... We've had some very delightful feedback from one person. Look, we we were always expecting feedback, right? We're always love, expecting it from family, friends, anybody. I love constructive I'll feedback. Take, this is I'll constructive. take constructive criticism, but yeah. honestly, this it's is... fantastic. Fan... Fantastic. So we're not going to say names. We're just going to well, call him. To be fair, we can say that's a that's no. surely not his name. No. That's that's a generic. You can't name, say his name. name. Well, if it is his name, we're now spraying him for having a generic name. <laughs> or can yeah. we just? Okay, can we say? <laughs>
Mm, well, let's okay. Not, you can't. Yeah, I'll find. Let's call. Let's call him Mr. Let's, Generic. Let's just call him. Let's just call well, him number one fan. Adam. Mr. Generic. So let's call him Gino. Generic. That's kind oh. of a spray as well. He does. Talk <laughs> We're about, all just spraying. He talks day. about American Idol. Could it be Simon Cowell <laughs> or Simon? <gasps> yes, call Simon him Simon. Cowell. No, Simon. just call him Simon. Just call him Simon. Yeah, all right. Simon. So our what number one si- fan designated Simon. Okay, so yeah. Simon. He reached out to us on our first episodes, which is, let's just say was the first episode, which we had no idea what was going to happen with our family and friends We or still anything. don't know what's going to we happen. We still don't even know. Anyway, he reaches out. One of our first videos. First, Read. on the first, pilot episode one, he writes, this is his comment as feedback. <laughs> <clears throat> you boys ever watch Australian Idol or something like that where some dude's family has hyped them up that they are a great singer and then they come out on stage and are god awful. <laughs> this is like that, but worse. Whoever told you, gents, that you were funny or interesting has done you an enormous disservice. <laughs> that disservice. And that is disservice. A... I, he sat oh. in front of his laptop going, I can't just say you guys are crap. I need to say more. That's some pain. I need to say more. That, that's... I reckon that's like, I reckon he did multiple drafts. He sent him. He sent him to his English teacher. Like this is draft one. Yeah. Final draft. That is, that is some Shakespeare yeah. spray right there. That and the English amazing. teacher's like, the English teacher's like, what's this for? I'm spraying three idiots from Ipswich talking on a podcast. Yeah. He's not particularly happy about copying a giant spray over a, a That's podcast, fantastic. but that is a decent spray. It's a decent spray. And he did not message, to mention, he messaged again, yeah. This is not his only attempt. He did it again after our next string of episodes, and he goes. Why are you boys still trying to make this a thing? <laughs> Question mark. You aren't funny. None of these stories are funny. This shit is embarrassing. <laughs> I say to Simon, fuck you. <laughs> we love fuck no, Bolton no, while you're at no, it too. No, fucking, fuck Bolton. We love it. Love, nah, love you, Simon. Keep, keep up. Keep up your creative writing career. Keep up the good work. If you, mate. And I if you want, it. if you want it, there is a shirt in it for you. If you yeah, want let, it. Us, let us know your address and we'll send you a shirt. That'd yeah, be we won't. Right. We won't come and egg your but house. We'll give you a shirt. Okay. We don't. We <laughs> I'll don't, send him one. We don't. He's con- gone to a lot of effort. He actually has. We, we're not condoning negative sort of chat, but that is some creative stuff, and we don't. We are all for creativity, so. It's creative writing. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, Simon. 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 <laughs> like, love your work. <laughs> you want, you're on a first name, nickname basis now. Simon. Simon. All right, Simon. It's all good. Oh, what gosh. else been going on? Oh, well. Um, Did you see those two girls do a rave in Melbourne and then Sydney and then Brisbane? Yeah, oh. good times. So they had their own private Airbnb party, got shut down by the cops, come up here, and then literally started doing laps of Australia. Yep. Apparently they try. They got caught trying to steal shit. That's why they had to run away from Melbourne or yeah, some crap. Yeah, there's so many different things about these people. Oh well, we don't have to talk about it a lot. I just think they're fucking idiots. Yeah. Just stupid. Putting stage. St- well, now obviously we've we're well. Victoria's technically now into stage four lockdowns again, and we're now threatening a fucking second wave. So it's a great time to go freaking Melbourne state hopping. Yeah, good idea, exactly. Girls. But oh, idiots. that. Yeah, that could trigger. That triggers most people. So that's just a quick mention, I guess. Yeah, quick mention. Everyone, stay safe. Wash your hands. Yeah, <laughs> keep yeah. washing hands. Sanitize your face. Wash your pubes too. Yeah, yeah. You never be too safe. You never know what bitch has got. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you never, be, be careful! You never, be careful, mate. Bitches got pubes. <laughs> you never know what bitches have got. You never know what bitches got. You know, well, hey, excuse me, before we do this, you got COVID. Hang on a second. Hey, that is that is so sexist. Males, <laughs> that is so sexist. Males can have pubes too. Hey, you got protection? Yeah, I do. No, no, I'm talking about the sanitizer. Oh, okay, yeah, I've got it's, that It'd as well. be like getting a tattoo done. It's like you've got to shave your area before we get started. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> instead of, instead of flavors of on your penis would burn like shit. Yeah, but it would be keeping you protected. <laughs> Instead of lube, t- tonight I'm using the Dettol 9.9. Ow, ow, ow. No, Apparently wouldn't you just be like, ah, the whole time? There was a story. That it wouldn't just be like, throb, throb, throb. Well, it might be. There was, a, there, was a, there was a story mentioned by um, someone. Oh, during, no. There was a story hey, mentioned by. What the by fuck story could this be? It's about putting sanitizer hot, on I'm your talking penis. About, well, it's talking about putting hot things on the penis. And apparently some dude. What, what did he put on it? He had chips. At home, and he had a, like one of the world's hot hot sauces or some shit. I remember when you did this, and it's like a you know shake it before you open it kind of deal. What and are you talking about? This guy was going to have chips, 
with World Hot Sauce. He shook the bottle up, but for some reason the bottle kind of jammed at the top and he happened to be eating these chips naked. As you do. So when he popped the lid off of the... Th- it well, happens more times When he think. popped the lid off the hot sauce, the hot sauce sprayed and landed <laughs> on his dick. Oh. Ah. The old, the old burning on the doodle sensation. Or some the shit old, like that. The old That's hot, why... The old hot dog. You never know what bitches got. <laughs> You never you know. know. If, you, if you use Tiger Balm or, or Tiger Balm or that... Um, you go and put some chilli on that dip. Yeah, you got to wash your hands after you use Tiger Balm or Deep Heat. You go and put some chilli on that don't dip. Be tu- oh, don't Deep be tu- Heat. Don't be touching shit after Tiger Balm. Oh. Hang on. we've all Have you never, ever done that at soccer? I used to put Deep Heat on my legs or my calves, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. Do a quick wash in the water, like spray the tap, run your hands through it for a second, then you go for a piss. Ten minutes into the soccer game, you're like, oh, 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 what the fuck is going on downstairs? You probably no, had the best on game. fire. You probably had the best game of your career that game. What running around like a fucking tripod? Yeah, but it made no. you run it was in faster. So much pain. I've never had to use Tiger Bum. So I'm sorry, good. I've never had to use Tiger Bum. Tiger Bum. Tiger Bum. Deep heat. No, I've never Tiger Bum. I think Tiger Bum is what you put on. Like, don't you put on tattoos and stuff? No, what's Tiger Bomb for? What the fuck's Tiger Ti- Bomb's like a more intense DP. Ah, uh, yeah. It has I, like I a swear to God, it, I swear he said Tiger Bomb. I'm like, I've no, never bomb. heard of this. He says Bomb, but he's lazy. He's like, Bomb. Bomb. I was trying to think of a pun doing the stripes, but I can't think of anything. Yeah, nah. Nah, it's shit. Yeah, nah. <laughs> we, can, we can cut all that out. <laughs> We're not cutting shit out. The cut big down, one, can obviously. We cut is, down my if you're down to a one. If you. <laughs> Yeah. I, I can't make a drink for shit. It's, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like I've gone to the Ecker and I've licked the whole fucking shed part where the cows are on the floor while trying to drink a coffee. It tastes like arsehole. Be better than this. I, I've made a this shocking is, this drink. This is worse than our first episode's chocolate porter shit. This and is that terrible. Was, that was nice. That wasn't terrible. I am not taking away... The actual, probably the final product that Vicky's promising is going to, probably uh, a, a 7 out of 5. I'm not putting this drink anywhere near Vicky's recommendation no. because what we've it's definitely done, not her drink. This is terrible what we've done to that and my, I'm ashamed. My version is terrible. I'm sorry to, to ruin, ruin, ruin her drink. Ruin. ruin a great, great recommendation. Cut it up, put a fork in it, eat it with a spoon. Thank you very much. See, thank you very much.